how to create amazing brush strokes in Photoshop. Well, what you can do, you can simply define the entire image. And this image was created using gradients, but it could be a photo, it could be text, it could be lots of different designs, 3D designs. But with this image, you can simply go over here to edit, edit menu and define brush preset. And that will be stored away. Now I'm gonna cancel that point. What you can also do is go over here to the rectangular marquee tool. This is another probably better option than defining the entire image as a brush. You can do that, of course. Rectangular marquee tool and just select an area. So there maybe there's an area of interest. So use the rectangular marquee tool, then edit and again, define brush preset. Just store it away or cancel. Maybe you think, oh, that's a really, really good area. Again, edit and again, define brush preset and click OK. So you've got your design there. However, what you can do is you can use the entire image, but you can use it via patterns and the libraries. And libraries panel. Here's the libraries panel. You can find that in the window menu. So window menu, find all of the various, anything when it comes to layers, you can find and various things like that. You can find here brush settings, useful later. Here's the libraries and you can go down the bottom. And there's a very useful feature just tucked away. Probably you wouldn't even just go down there, click plus, extract from image. Sort of tucked away there, extract from image. And what it does, it extracts certain information from the image. You can go with patterns, that's the default. So you can see you get this pattern design. You can go for shapes, so you can create a great shape, which can be used as a brush stroke as well. But I'm going with patterns. So patterns, you've got different types of patterns. Let's just go for this one. This is the end result. So if you create a pattern layer, this is what you'll see if you create it. This here is the actual pattern tile. And you can scale it. So you can see then if you scale it, it zooms in on that tile and it will change the result here. You can also change it. And again, there you can see maybe a more interesting brush stroke. You can also rotate. So you rotate it and you think, oh, that's great. Click saves to CC libraries. And it's just saved, you just see it just moved there. It just updated the library, it's added it to your libraries. At any time, you can do that. So you see Capture Pattern 36. Doesn't give you an option to give a name to it, but you can, of course, redefine it later. You can go to this one. You can think, oh, you know what, that looks pretty good as well. And you can change things, you can see result there. You maybe want to define that as a pattern. But I'm just gonna have that one. So that design there, Save to CC libraries. And again, you can see it updated there. And you can close. So once you've created your designs, you've got them stored away as a pattern. Now what you can do, you can just go here to the libraries panel. Libraries panel, loads and loads of patterns. These ones are created earlier. Right click and you can always remember, best to do that, if you want to use this as a brush texture later, is to click create pattern preset. That's very useful. So. Click there, again, go to this one, create pattern preset, create pattern preset, create pattern, and so on. So you can just save them all. Now, pattern presets, window, and patterns. So if you go there to your patterns, you can then see you've got your patterns stored away there, which is very useful. And the thing that's useful is that you can use this because look, if you go over to these patterns, you can just hover. If you hover there, you can see 2048, that's the size of the document. Now, unfortunately, you've got here append, all those sort of things. There's no create a new document feature. That would be very nice. But you can also, of course, and I'm gonna use that a little bit later, let's just simply use this pattern now. So I'm just gonna just drag this over and the pattern is added. And you can see then it's a pattern fill like that. You can also just drag again another one and you can see it add it again, so you've got that pattern there. This just creates one layer, so it's got one layer. You can hold down the alter option key and create multiple ones. So if you just drag, you can see it creates another pattern layer using that one. I'm not gonna do that. What I want is just this one pattern layer. I can use this to create all kinds of brushes. So I've got this very complex design now as a pattern fill. And as a pattern fill, I can double click, double click that, and I can turn around and say, well, I want that a bit smaller. And it creates a lovely seamless design. So click OK. 
Well, what I can now do is go to edit and I can define brush preset. And you can see what happens. You've got the brush preset. Now this is quite a large brush preset. I don't want to create it that size, but you can see you can create a brush from that. Again, just go to rectangular marquee tool, select that, maybe select it in part. You might think that one looks part really, really good. Again, edit and down, define brush preset, and you can see it's 348 and click OK. And that's stored away. Or maybe a different area. Again, rectangular marquee tool, select that part, or maybe that part, any part of it. You think that looks brilliant. Edit and again, define brush preset. That's the key thing. But this is a great way of creating some very complex brush designs. And you can also double click on that. You know, this time I'm going to go with 10. So you can see the result of that. And again, you've got that selection already around there. So you can always go to edit and define brush preset. So you can create yet again another complex brush. But you can also, as I pointed out, you can hover over here and you can see if you get that one, 2600. So go for 2048. So let's just go to file and new and 2048. Obviously you can see I've done it a bit earlier as well. Click create. And now what you've got, you can then with that one, not that one, because that one's a different size. Let's just select that one. That's the key thing, 2048. You can simply just drag and you've got a lovely symmetrical brush. This is a repeat tile a repeat tile design, which you can then go to edit and again, define brush preset. And you can see it there. Click OK. You can create infinite number of brushes using this approach. Let's just go back to this document now. And again, you can always change it, tweak it, double click. You can move it around, reposition it and so on. Change the scale, maybe boost it out that way. You think, oh, that's a really great area. Again, rectangular marquee tool, select that and create that as a brush preset. Well, also what you can do is because here in the libraries, if you go over it, right click, you've got the create pattern preset and you've saved it as a pattern preset. What you can do, you can use that with your brushes. You can also use it with existing brushes as well as a brush texture. So let's just go here to the brushes. Now you can see all the brushes. These are sample brushes. That's what it creates. It calls it sample brush. And you can select any of them. So I'm just going to select this one. So I've got that selected. Paintbrush tool. And let's just flatten that because it's a pattern layer. You can't paint to it. So flatten image. And now you've got your pattern brush. Now it might not have any particular, obviously end result that you like. You might decide, you know what? That isn't one I like. Let's just go for another. It's probably best to work with a complete fresh. So edit and fill. Let's go with white. And you can say, and you can see the result there. Select that. Oh. Sometimes the brush size is too big and you see what happens. It just goes very, very slow. All right, let's just resize that a bit. Down to about that. And you can see the brush stroke there. And you can see the design now. I'm just going to move those other ones because they do. Unfortunately, the brush setting, if you've got here, you can see what happens. You've got shape dynamics. I've got brush tip. I've got the space in there. So let's just increase the spacing. And that's the really nice feature with the fact of the repeat tile. Let's just chain, turn that off. You can see the design there and you can then just go across. And as you do that, you can see the result. Got a lovely brush stroke that's can be spread all the way. Now you might require a little bit of setting of this. Sometimes it requires different values, maybe not 100. It might be sort of 170. You suddenly find some brushes depending on the settings you created with the brush. You can see you've got that. You can hold down the shift and you can create a lovely long continuous line for your brush stroke, just using this approach. So there's a little bit of a fine line there, I have to say. So 100%, maybe 100.2 or something, you might have to tweak it slightly. But you, of course, can use any of these other settings as well and modify it and change size jitter. And of course, that breaks it. As soon as you do that, you've got scattering. You can spread it out and it will, you will get this end result, rotation, etc. A whole range of different ones. But again, because you've got all these brushes, brush tip designs, there's more down there. Let's just go and select a different brush. 
one that I created as well, say this one, 19. Again, sometimes it's very hard because of course you've got the spacing, you can't see anything. So let's just go brush settings again. And with that, change the spacing. So you can actually see it, <laughs> that would help. So there you can see the brush. Now that's what I mean about the size. So you have to be, you can't just go assume 100. You put, oh, it's gone to 10 there. So you've got to put it about there, 190, 121. And then hold down the shift and you can then apply and you can see the result. You can see the design. It doesn't have much complexity, this brush. But you can tweak it, modify it, change the settings. It's probably 100, will be exactly right. But some do require different settings. And you can see the design there. And actually that one doesn't look so great in terms, it probably wasn't a seamless tile, so you can see it's actually just breaking apart as you go across. But of course you can change the color, you don't have to go with blue, I'm just using that for example. But you've got all the other settings as well, scattering, and you can modify these, scattering there, and create all kinds of unusual designs using, again, all the way back just to these pattern designs, which you can use again and again. And you don't have to just go with what that, that is. You can always go to layer and flatten image. Once you've done that, what you can do is you can apply effects. You can go to image adjustments and then go down here, maybe threshold. So you can change the threshold there and you can see you can create a design like that. Click OK. So adjustments can be used and then you can edit and define brush preset. So you've got yet another more complex brush again, click OK, which you can then apply and modify, change, etc. All from that pattern source designs from a very basic image. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear. Thank you much.